When a narcissist can no longer control you, these things that happen next is out of your mind. Have you ever wondered what happens when the narcissist finally realizes they can no longer control you? Perhaps you've been in this toxic relationship for a while, and all their usual tricks and tactics no longer work on you. You've become wise to their manipulations, and you know deep down they'll never change. You've stopped responding to their persistent hoovering and even gone so far as to block them entirely. Now, the narcissist is slowly coming to terms with the reality that they may not have control over you anymore. What happens next? Brace yourself, because the outcome can be entirely unpredictable. Stay tuned for this gripping video as I reveal the strange, surprising occurrences that can happen when the narcissist loses their grip on you. You don't want to miss out on this one. By the way, don't forget to also check the description box below to get my free comprehensive course about narcissists. Number 1. Hoovering Tactics Typically, there will be a prolonged period of constant hoovering strategies. This includes persistent phone calls from unfamiliar numbers, relentless emails from unfamiliar accounts, and even resorting to contacting you through newly created social media accounts. They may have already reached out to your family as a last-ditch effort. This may result in an illusion that the narcissist is genuinely motivated to rekindle the relationship, supposedly driven by their remorseful and regretful emotions. But once they realize that you are not falling for their ruse, their demeanor changes dramatically. They turn vicious, escalating their slanderous campaign against you. It becomes essential to acknowledge that the smear campaign waged against you has been in motion for some time now. Number 2. Invasive Outreach Be prepared for them to go to great lengths to reach out to individuals in your life. They may contact your employer, people at your church, and even infiltrate your social circle, with the intention of intercepting any communication. Now that they no longer control you, their primary agenda is manipulating how others perceive you, even if it means manipulating perceptions within your own family. Number 3. The Triangulation Trap Getting drawn into a cycle of triangulation is a common outcome in romantic connections, but don't be fooled into thinking it's limited to just that. The perils of triangulation can rear its head in a workplace or family dynamic alike. Keep in mind, the second a narcissist thinks they're losing their grip on the situation, their first troop of action is to hoover you up yet again. But if that doesn't pan out, brace yourself. They'll begin to take their smear campaign to the next level, even if it means resorting to vindictive behavior, coercion, and bully tactics to assert their power and superiority over you. Number 4. The Plunge Into Internal Shame Ever heard that little voice inside your head that tells you it's all your fault? Get ready for it to get much louder and much more persistent. In fact, you'll start to wonder if it's right, if you didn't put enough effort into the relationship, and if the narcissist was right this entire time. Even if your rational mind knows that you did everything you could to try and make it work, that doesn't stop the narcissist's voice from taking center stage. And let's be clear, this isn't how things normally go in a typical breakup. Of course, there will be some grief and hesitancy to begin anew, but there won't be the rampant smear campaigns, the intentional hurtfulness, or the outright malevolence that comes with ending things with a narcissist. This alone sets them apart and confirms what you're really dealing with. It's crucial to understand that these actions aren't accidental or done without thought, either. Narcissists know exactly what they're doing and are carefully constructing their interactions with you to cause the most anguish. If they were unaware, they would behave this way in every relationship. But they don't. They save their abuse for those they perceive to be vulnerable. Number 5. The Memory Matrix Once you're in the grasp of a narcissist, they won't ever forget about you, not even when they're on to the next supply. But it's important to note that even if you play into their manipulation, presenting them with absolute control, it won't necessarily save the relationship. Narcissists could care less about long-term commitments to one person, despite the facade they might put on. Just because they happen to be married or living with someone, doesn't mean things are peachy keen with their partners or that they're truly happy. Narcissistic behavior is a chronic condition that can't be flicked off like a switch. Number 6. The Plight of Children It is of utmost importance to recognize that if you happen to share offspring with a narcissist and find that they seem to side with the other parent or appear more distant than before, 
don't disregard it as trivial. It can be a consequence of experiencing the same emotional abuse and turmoil as you. The children develop a pattern of trauma bonding, become subject to hoovering and love bombing, and are inculcated with false narratives about you. It is a deeply agonizing ordeal to go through. Remember when you get involved with a narcissist, their concept of a relationship is vastly different from yours. They aren't seeking a mutually supportive and affectionate relationship. Instead, it's about expecting absolute subservience to their whims. Number 7. Shaken by Parenthood Sharing children with a narcissist is a daunting task, requiring utmost caution and vigilance. While we're not authorized to dispense legal advice, this stage is critical and immediate steps must be taken. Seek out professional representation and ensure your children receive therapy without delay. The narcissist's vile grip on power must be broken and you need to take every precaution to protect your children. Their agenda is all about control as they recoil at the slightest twinge of powerlessness. Their intense offense at seeing you slipping out of their clutches is all-consuming, primarily since they've invested so much time in manipulating and brainwashing you. You can witness the damage wrought by their machinations in your faltering self-esteem and in life after the relationship ends. Stay wary. Parenthood is never straightforward with a narcissist in the picture. Number 8. The Insidious Spying When a narcissist loses their grip on you, that's when things can get really dangerous. They'll resort to planting spyware on your devices, stealing sentimental items from you, even going so far as to bug your electronics. You can't let them put you in that kind of situation. You need to pull out all the stops and protect yourself with every fiber of your being. This might mean getting a restraining order, setting up cameras around your home, even hiring a security company to keep an eye on things. It's not a time to be timid or shy. You have to be proactive in protecting yourself. And if it comes down to it, don't hesitate to call the authorities, even if the thought of it makes you feel sick to your stomach. Narcissists will try to use fear to control you, especially in court scenarios, but you have to stay strong and fight back. Don't let them continue to manipulate you and cause harm. It's time to take charge and shut them out for good. And just when you think the worst is over, they'll attempt to reel you back in with twisted trauma bonding tactics. Stay vigilant and stay strong. Your freedom and safety depend on it. Number 9. Narcissistic Illusions the narcissistic psyche perceives relationships as ephemeral and fleeting. For them, the concept of genuine connection is foreign, an alien notion beyond their comprehension. Instead, their focus lies in attaining absolute control over you, bending your actions and mindset towards their self-serving goals. When you inevitably decide to terminate your involvement with the narcissist, it becomes the ultimate form of narcissistic injury. The depths of their wrath knows no boundaries, seeking to extract a costly reprisal. Number 10. Loops of Narcissism The hallmark of a narcissist is their inability to accept separation. The notion of amicable breakups holds no meaning for them. Their deranged brain operates on a truly twisted logic, and they persist in circling back to their former supply sources. If you happen to be a victim of their hoovering, be warned. Their remorse is a facade designed to manipulate you. They will take advantage of your vulnerability and use it to serve their twisted needs. It is vital to understand that their hoovering tendencies are not restricted to you alone, as they employ the same tactics with their other exes. They never attach to any particular individual, as their twisted mind views all as expendable fodder. Once their current relationship starts to deteriorate, they resort to their old tricks and reel in their past prey. The cycle of abuse continues, and the narcissist remains devoid of any empathy or remorse. Number 11. Boundary Bending Narcissists resort to testing boundaries once they have hooked their prey during the love-bombing phase. Their stratagem commences slowly, luring you into a false sense of security before gradually increasing the temperature. You may not realize the extent of their deceit and disloyalty until much later, but rest assured the process began long before. They are counting on your vulnerability to bolster their manipulations. Once you unravel their mind games, the scales fall from your eyes, and you begin to see through their veil of lies and deceit. Beware, the narcissist will resort to their brainwashing tactics at the first sign of losing control and reconjure the deluded worldview they seek to impose on all others.
Number 12. Performance Art Narcissists will resort to devious tactics, even crying and offering a counterfeit apology. They are gifted actors who conceal their infamy and unleash their razzle-dazzle act in public settings, often leaving you befuddled by the dissonance between their private persona and their public facade. Count on them knowing what they're doing, their tears will not be sincere, and they will never genuinely feel remorse for their mistreatment of you. Their attempts at an apology serve only to outwit you and minimize the consequences they'll have to face, such as child support, alimony, and asset division. Remember, your firmness is essential when they start to realize they are losing control. They will resort to vile techniques to at least maintain a semblance of power. It's tempting to fall for their tricks and relive the early days of the relationship, but remember that if they were capable of change, they'd have done so already. Don't fall into their trap of gaslighting and nostalgia. They'll resort to all kinds of reprehensible deeds, including property damage and home invasions, when it becomes apparent that they can't force you under their control. Stay strong and don't let them deceive you any longer. Number 13. Bonds of Sorrow It's vital to comprehend that narcissists are immune to any trauma bonds, leaving only the unfortunate victims. Heed their threats, attempting to make you believe you couldn't survive without them, or worse yet, that you could lose custody of your children. Even if their threats may be genuine, begin putting together an exit plan and working toward extricating yourself from the sadistic relationship, no matter how long it may take. Narcissists will try anything and everything to maintain control once they sense it slipping away, so remain vigilant. Regrettably, I couldn't possibly cover every reprehensible ploy in this video, so please feel free to share your experiences in the comments section to assist others in recognizing and avoiding these dangerous traps. If you feel this video has been beneficial to you, please subscribe to my channel to stay current on future material that will assist you in freeing yourself from the torment of narcissistic abuse. Finally, don't forget to check the resources available below in the description box. Many thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe. So, everyone, narcissists are people who exhibit a strong sense of entitlement, an insatiable desire for admiration, and a severe lack of empathy toward others, and well, still many more. They often try to control their partners, friends, or colleagues to fulfill their needs and desires, regardless of how they affect others. However, what happens when their attempts at control are no longer successful? So, narcissists who lose their control over others typically react in predictable ways. They may feel angry, frustrated, and humiliated as their sense of power, dominance, and superiority is threatened. They may also become increasingly hostile, manipulative, or abusive as their need for control intensifies. One common reaction of narcissists who can't control others is to use extreme tactics to regain their power. They may resort to verbal or physical violence, threats, or intimidation to scare or intimidate their victims into submission. They may also engage in gaslighting, a form of emotional manipulation that makes the victim doubt their own reality, memory, or sanity. This is a tactic used to make the victim feel as though they are going crazy, making it easier for the narcissist to control them. When a narcissist loses his or her controlling grip over another person, it can be a devastating experience for them. They will attempt to reassert their dominance and control, often resorting to extreme measures to do so. For the victim, it can be a dangerous experience, and they must take measures to protect themselves. Another common tactic used by narcissists when they lose control is to play the victim. They may portray themselves as vulnerable, weak, or helpless to gain sympathy, empathy, or attention from others. By doing so, they may manipulate others into providing them with the validation, admiration, or support they crave. This tactic helps the narcissist to continue to operate on their own terms, and they may use it to try and regain control over others. Narcissists also frequently resort to smear campaigns. This tactic involves attacking and defaming the victim's character, reputation, or credibility, often to gain the upper hand and take the focus off themselves. Narcissists may unleash the help of others to spread rumors, lies, or gossip about their victims to damage their reputation and make it hard for them to establish themselves. 
When the narcissist loses control, they may also display behaviors typical of withdrawal. They may pull away from the victim or try to avoid contact, feeling sad, depressed, or even frustrated. Now, this withdrawal can be seen as a way of avoiding any confrontation that may further damage their image or reveal their true insecurity. Narcissists have a strong need to protect themselves as confident, successful, and superior. And when their control is questioned or challenged, they may struggle to maintain that image and go into hiding. So, to sum up, when narcissists can't control their victims, they may resort to extra measures or tactics to regain their dominance again. Such tactics can be very harmful, abusive, or dangerous, and victims should take steps to protect themselves. Narcissists' reaction to losing control is predictable but can be unpredictable at times. The best way to protect yourself is by putting a safe distance between yourself and the narcissistic person. You should also seek professional help and healing to recover from the trauma of being in a relationship with a narcissist. Remember, a healthy and fulfilling relationship is built on mutual respect and trust, not control and abuse. Well, I think this is everything I can say in today's video. I hope you find this video informative and enlightening. If you have anything to say, ask or anything, please don't hesitate to write them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, let the healing begin.